This week on the Ritual Misery Pro Podcast Program Podcast. On um, this week on the Ritual Misery Podcast, Amos got a whole bunch of work done to his house. Uh, I had to call a plumber this week. Oh, that's maybe all... cocktail hour before the show is not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think this is working. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Richard Misery po- Podcast. I keep saying program for whatever goddamn reason. <laughs> Are you British? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Program. Uh, this is episode 256 for Thursday, the 10th of September, 2020. This is the show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos. That's Kent. Uh, in the middle, if you can see it, which you can't if you're on audio, is Jackie Hearn with the blonde hair. And uh, next to her, in screen but not in person, is the wonderful, amazing Sassian with exactly the opposite colored hair. Oh, hi, everybody. Uh- <laughs> we did cocktail hour. <laughs> In our pre-show, and I think I, I think it's obvious. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Uh, we uh, t- tonight's cocktail hour, uh, brought to you by the one and only Jackie Hearn, was um, uh, co-hosted with the Have a Drink Show folks. Uh, well, Chris Walker, anyway. So at least one of them, and we had screwdrivers, which we're I think all still having. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm on number two. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Tito's and uh, Tropicana one, so it's it's. Uh, I'm gonna it's very weak, person. very very weak number one because I need to stay the heck away from alcohol for a I while. Was, I was Let a me tell you, you did it, at Jackie. Mm. I, was, I was I was applauding your 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 soda water <laughs> I and crush. Like I was appa- I was applauding it because I was like, I'm you know, going what, right you're back doing to it. I, I, I can do it. I can do it. And like, all I need is motivation, and I definitely have it right now. You're so. definitely it's... not gonna get not gonna get that here, though. <laughs> <laughs> this show is anything but motivating. Um... <laughs> it's a release. It's it's comic relief for me. So thank you so much for having me on. By the way, of course. Like, my my world has gone to COVID, groundhog, internal hell. And uh, so it's really nice to step away and hang out with you guys. So Here, thank you. Here's a long distance kiss, Jackie. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, she, yeah, she, thank you for joining us, Jackie. It was uh, it was awesome that you said yes. I'll be on. Uh, Kent, Amos, you said you said that uh, you had some work done on your house. Is that is that accurate? Yes. <laughs> it's been Uh-oh. three day, three days of drilling through drywall and trying to route power and figuring out how where the we had. And you did that yourself? No, you fuck didn't... no. <laughs> no. Uh, so we got water filters installed, a uh, on-demand water heater, and an air conditioner, and a new furnace. Is Cheers. it like a? Is it a tankless? It is. Well, it, not 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 technically. It's got a two-gallon buffer tank in it, so that it doesn't do a lot of uh, um, a lot of. On demand water heaters, they'll give you some warm water and then it's cold again and then it's hot. And yeah, this has a flash. two yeah, two gallon like buffer. So when you put the hot water on, it actually starts giving you warm water and just gradually gets warmer and warmer like a like normal water heater would. That's mm-hmm. so cool. So. I've been wanting one of those for a while since I realized they were a thing. Mm-hmm. But it's not, kind of not practical here where we live. Yeah, and it's, it's I mean, it's not a, a terrible thing here to not have one. But if we were up north, my God, if we were north of the wall like you, Amos, like that feels necessary. <laughs> yeah, and now my wife is pissed off because it's only set to 120 degrees, and she's like, it doesn't burn my skin. Yeah. Like, what is it's up not with? Hot enough. I know. What what, what is up with third degree burns in women in the shower? I don't understand this concept, but it, it's okay. universal to you all know, the women I've ever known. Equal ground, Jackie. We gotta fight. <laughs> okay, let's fight. <laughs> it's Fight Club, but don't, we don't talk about it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's yeah. Not talk about it. Don't worry. It's this podcast. Nobody's gonna listen anyway. Right. Uh, <laughs> Aw, because I'm because so, I'm the guest. Uh, hey. You you brought Look the live you. crowd, Look Jackie. You. I don't know I what you're talking about right now. You brought people here, Jackie. There are people here that you don't see in normal RMP episodes. Like, <laughs> like no like shit. one person. Uh, and that's and that's literally more no anyway. Um 
Dude, I got to tell you, man, uh, it's it's not been fun. It's been interesting, but it's not been fun for the last couple of days. And t- they got to come back tomorrow to finish hooking up the air conditioner. There, you know, it's going to sit there for basically nine months now. We we ordered it in the beginning of summer, and of course, it took until this long because we had right, so many other things going on. It wasn't even their fault. Uh, it was my fault, really, because I just suck at planning my summers when there's pandemics going on. Apparently. Um, but yeah, so that, that's well, you've got so much practice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you I mean, have so much practice. With that. You know, you know, you can see pictures of me walking around in a top hat during the 1918 uh, pandemic. You know, that's, oh, right. That's come a fucking vampire. Um, I thought you were from like the Black Plague, where you had like the fucking like beak mask and everything. Uh, uh, I didn't wear that stupid mask during the Black. Plague. I mean, I wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh wow. No, but that, that, my my week's just been really topsy turvy because that plus school started officially for my daughter and my niece this week, so we've been trying to get that under right underway here at the house. And the uh, it's it's just been crazy. So, really, me telling you about my house and all the stupid modifications we're doing to it is my way of saying I didn't get shit done this week. So don't blame me <laughs> if the episodes aren't out in time. Oh wait, yeah. speaking of episodes that aren't. <laughs> I, 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 and I know currently I have like three in the pocket that I'm supposed to be publishing, but the one directly before that is Kent's. So until Kent publishes his, I'm under no real pressure to publish so, mine. By the way, my geeky thing oh, is shots week. fired. I yoinked all of my files off of off of the publishing computer and put them onto my computer. So he has no excuse now. <laughs> Because he was saving them. <laughs> like, oh no, Steph still has her files. He can't do a clear wipe. Look at Ken's face. No, no, well, Steph is wrong. He doesn't have that excuse anymore. <laughs> there are still plenty of others he can come up with. <laughs> yeah. So that's what he tells me. But I mean, I don't, I don't know too much. I don't focus too much. Hey, I, I do a podcast with a friend, and I think he's in chat, and I think uh, he knows how much I suck as a co-host. So, like, so, I mean, sometimes life gets in the way, man. Mm-hmm. It really <laughs> yeah, and, does. And, yeah, producing's hard. Producing in life, <laughs> and I, I thought about, like, oh, doing the sim stream, and then it's like, no, because I don't want to stream anymore. And then I'm like, oh, I can just, like, produce a, a YouTube channel for sims, and then it's like, just the actual editing and production of it. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you've got post, it's like, uh, it makes my, it makes my head spin. So no, I Mm -hmm. I don't blame anyone when it comes to lagging behind when it comes to that kind of shit. I did come up with an idea and then this is going to be ruined by me expressing it, but there's like almost zero chance. There's a, there's a, a a non 100% chance of us getting it done anyway. (laughs) Steph years ago, you and I were going to do a Dragonlance read. We were. And I finally <laughs> thought of the angle for that Dragonlance read. You know, okay, I, I still have to say, I have not made it past book one. Okay, I'm still- and, and that's fine. Uh, the angle on it would be not just to be reading it and, and talking about it and discussing it, but to actually get insight from one of the authors whom Kent and I happen to have an inside line with. Oh so, my God, if we could get Margaret Weiss to just talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell well, that there's this well, fan girl that's just like? Well, well, the thing is, you'd have to make it a non-impactful on her life. So I was thinking, as we read and you know, as we're going through, we could just ask her for a clip on an event, just just describe something, and then we could just inject that into the show as kind of a feature, and then hopefully one time, or maybe you know, maybe once a book to get her on to discuss the actual thoughts of the, of, of the book and the writing process of that particular yeah. book. I think that's a great that, idea. That would be super cool. And now that I we said on the internet, 500 more, people are going to do it. Yeah. She would, <laughs> I think she would definitely be more into that than like yet another interview. Right. Uh, although uh, four years ago when we interviewed her, she was splendid. She, oh, she, she really was. She was aunt Margaret. Like she, <laughs> that's right. She was so sweet for she you was, guys. She was the best. Yeah. And she liked one of my Twitter posts the other day, so fuck it, I'm I'm gold. Uh, oh, right Jackie, uh, what 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 have you got going on uh, lately? Like you seem to have there's there's like a different air about you, like like you almost you almost look like a different person. Like it's <laughs> like something's changed. Like what's going on with you, Jackie? I don't know, man. I fell in love. <laughs> Uh, I that's uh, like this is gonna my uh, 
at least my uh, August 2020 has been a roller coaster. Um, but um, it's really screwed up to, to 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 try and like have something with somebody like in a COVID world. So I've been dealing with that. So I've basically been dealing with the COVID world. And like, I want to talk a little bit more about hair dye later in my geek section. But yeah, yeah, I've lost my damn mind. I've lost my mind. And um, uh, so, but, but yeah, the only thing that I've had going on, like, like I was afraid, I was afraid to do this section because like, honestly, like this week, I've just still been in my, you know, quarantine world. And, but I watched all of the boys because I didn't watch season one. I and I know it. we're going to talk about that later. So I'll wait. Um, and uh, I don't know, man. I, I, um, you know, I did an Instacart grocery pickup. <laughs> no, wait, not pickup because I couldn't drive because I was sick. Because I'm no. not. <clears throat> for, for those. That, and for, I got a delivery. And that's about it, man. For that, those, that's about it. For those, Catched up with the news. I don't know. I still can't catch up with the news because every oh. time you look at the news, there's more news, and then there's more, and you're just like, nope, this is a spiral. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little I'm, obsessed with it. I I'm did take like a news. week off. Yeah, I uh, should. I should be better at the news, but uh, Ken, anyways, Ken, tells, so. Ken tells me the important things, which included something that I've never done before. We had a we had a meeting at work today, which was virtual, um, and I asked the CEO of our company, "Hey, what the hell's going on with Social Security?" <laughs> Mm. And I actually participated in our little work meeting. <laughs> so, okay, so th to backfill that, all right, so there was a presidential memo um, about a month ago that declared that uh, the IRS was going to defer uh, basically the rest of 2020's uh, payroll, Social Security tax. In income, yeah. Yeah, um, so... At the end of uh, this year, it's going to come back into effect. And not only that, you have to pay back, because it was deferred, not forgiven, you have to pay back uh, the Social Security tax. It's never good when you have to pay back tax. This is roughly 6.2% of your income. Right. So right, it's, right. It's, a, it's a very small amount that they're not taking away from you anymore, relatively speaking to the overall. I mean, it's, it's what you still get 93 and is, is this an, is this is this an automatic thing because I <clears throat> I haven't really looked into it but is this an automatic thing where you have no choice they you, are going to not so, give, take so it out th there's, there's because three if that's ways. the case that's 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 horrific there's three ways yeah it's really hard for people particularly got, people who don't make a, a certain amount of income to be able to save for the day that they have to pay their taxes that's right so there, there's there's so there's a couple different things here. So first of all, if you work for the federal government of the United States, done deal. There's no opting out. You are, you are um, getting an additional probably like a hundred and something dollars in your paycheck. Um, That's like terrifying. It's probably not even that. If you're if you're like E1 through E3, then yeah, it'll be less than that. But about well, no, probably about E5 is where it kicks in to where it's over a hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, but it's it's going to be a significant amount, especially if you are yes. down to the dollar every paycheck. Yeah, if you, you... Pay, live paycheck and then paycheck. and then if you have to pay it back. Yeah. So yeah. so all federal employees, to include all military, um, th this is a thing that's happening. There's no opt out. It's happening now. It began in September. So our first September twelfth federal Whoa. paycheck. Yeah, September twelfth. Yep. Um, now, if you are if you work in the private sector, so like a, a private company or a corporation or something like that, it's up to the company to opt in or opt out. Yeah, my and, company decided it was stupid; they weren't going to do it. Right. And, and so, so my my pay stays the same. If your company opted in, you as an employee, you're you're stuck with it. It's happening. Yep. So yep. the so I I wanted to bring this up just basically as a public service announcement. Check with your company. Whoever it is that you work for, find out if they are participating in this. If you don't already know, find out if they're participating in this. And if they are, you're going to see a little bump in your paycheck starting next week, probably. But save it. Do not spend it because yeah. the government is going to take it back. Not just take it back. So you're going to get used to 
like a hundred, let's just say a hundred extra bucks a paycheck through that throughout the end of the year, not only are you going to have that, not have that hundred extra dollars, you're going to be paying back the hundred dollars that you had the month before. So you're going to be up a hundred and then you're basically going to be down 200 come the yep. beginning of the year. And so pretend that you don't have that money, put it aside in a separate savings account or something because you're going to get screwed if you don't. And, and it, it yeah. gets a little bit more complicated because if you, if you, if your taxable income is more than $4,000 a pay period, it doesn't affect you. Right. You basically got to make over a hundred grand a year. Wait. So it's like, this is taxing the poor. Yeah, absolutely. So the no, 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 no. This, this. And, and, and what it's doing is it's setting up that in the future, all of these poor people are now going to owe a higher debt because they're not going to be able to pay this back. They, they, they should well, like it should but, be a clause nope, nope, where you don't nope, have to pay a nope, cent nope, of it. Nope. Yes. Okay. But hold on. Hold on. It's not a, it's not like you pay it at tax time or something like that. It's removed automatically from your paycheck. There is no like I can't pay it back. It comes out of your paycheck. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, they'll hold it. So you they never will hold it, it from your check. Ugh. Absolutely. Yep. It's just it, the whole thing just it blows my mind. So, it's going to make the poor now, poor. Now, now here's here's the other aspect of that though. That four thousand dollar mark is your taxable income. People like military members, active duty military, only part of your income is taxable. So mm. it gets right. Well, the only people, the only ranks in the military that that this applies to would be colonels and above, like some some O five lieutenant colonels and above. Right. All the enlisted force and and every officer like O five and below don't like the, the they're, they're making, participating in this. Right. There's no way out of it. But they're not explaining that very well. I saw the emails that were sent to my wife, and they're not explaining that really at all. It's it's up to squadron commanders because I get I get emails from two separate squadrons yeah. like like squadron level things or whatever one squadron no nah, like it's kind of just in the street they're not they're not even like well they're probably I'm sure they're briefing I'm sure they're actually having in person briefings with the enlisted people because that's scary but I'm just talking about emails but in yeah. the other squadron Terrifying. emails it is spelled out very clearly that do not spend this money like right. you will get like they can't say fuck in a squadron email, but they basically <laughs> said, if you don't yeah. set this money aside, you're going to be fucked come January. And in January, you don't pay it all back at one time. You pay it. Basically you pay double the 6.2% tax until it's paid. Right. Off. Until, until the end of March. So it's, yeah. they talked about the interest on it. Like, will you, you will eventually owe interest if you can't, no. if you can't pay it back. On oh, a timely no, no, basis. no, 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 no. There is no can't pay it back. No, if you get a if paycheck, you get, if you get it's zero, taken out. If you get zero, no, 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 no. Cause you could lose your job. Because a lot of oh, us are right, losing right. our jobs. Yes. Then, and then if that you lose your yes, job you, and you so yes, you don't have a paycheck. You owe that tax. That's yeah. yeah. So that, so you will that owe interest. You, you will yep. be responsible for paying it. They haven't figured out exactly how you'll pay yeah, it back no, if you lose your employment. Like, but it'll I, probably I, be I on the income tax. taxes. Well I, I will personally tell you that like I used to work for state government um and I did the same work that I do now. Then I, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna make a shit ton more money if I just do it on my own. And so I did that and I became an independent contractor, but I'm terrible at business. I'm terrible at managing money. And like, and so my, for my first year of doing it, I still owe taxes and I've paid those taxes, but now I'm still paying back the interest of those taxes that I didn't pay immediately on time. And right. it just grows and it grows and it grows. And that's aside from my student loans. So like they, it just, it will just grow and grow. Here's the, the pro only- here's the problem with this, the overall problem. All of what we said is probably true. I'm not doubting what anybody, but the problem is that this is all done by executive order. It's basically three sentences on a fucking letter signed by Donald Trump, and the actual particulars have not been figured out and right. won't be until Congress either addresses yes. it, it, it directly, forgives it, which what happens to the people that didn't participate if it's forgiven, or... Uh, 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 Donald Trump in, in another executive order either withdraws it or clarifies himself, which it, basically no one fucking really knows. Like we know the ten percent, well, we know we know step one, and that's really so, it. So here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. A president cannot change tax code, so he can't forgive a tax. Right. 
he he can defer. That's actually within his executive power, which is he basically ordered the IRS doing. to do so. Or she. The IRS is doing it. Right. Uh, well, I mean, the current president is. OK, key. so um, Are we he did it and it's legal now. Uh, Congress can enact a bill that forgives that. That is the only way out of this without people getting fucked hard come January is Congress actually pass something and forgives that deferment. Now, that sounds great and all, but what does that do to the, the Social Security account of the United States? Like, Yeah, it destroys it. It's lost yeah. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Yep. For Which, what? by the way, is, I think, the whole reason behind the deferment. Yeah. Because Donald Trump so is anyway, very anti So I didn't want to get into a I didn't want to get into a discussion let's, of of tax law let's and not stuff get like into that. A political I just wanted to yet. be I just wanted to give a PSA. If you if you are getting the deferment, please set it aside if you if you have to budget um to that level please 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 set that aside save yourself and if it does end up getting forgiven then you just establish yourself a nice little nest egg to buy you something nice come january so uh, rewarding in the chat says uh we need to improve our public education which i think should be the through line for this whole fucking podcast yes yeah that's uh that's that sums up for sure. public education um so i i, I want to move on to the boys jackie you said you watched it for the first time yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you, no. You no, I, man, I love myself some superhero stuff by far. Like, I, uh, and I knew that I wanted to watch the boys and everyone kept telling me like, you of all people would love it because it's like a, an adult spin on it. And it's like, you know, and I was like, yeah, 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 I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And I finally got motivated to, to do it because of the fact that like the new season came out on the fourth and um yeah yeah it's, it's so still, it's still ongoing they released the first three episodes and then it's gonna be yeah the, and so the, the yeah so the new the new episode and so they they the first three and then like now it's gonna be week by week every friday which i didn't know and that sucks i don't yeah it kind of sucks that. to wait but i also kind of like that it's spaced out a little bit so like if you and i wanted to have a conversation right now you and i are both caught up to to episode 3 of season 2 no what if I'm, you I'm, had... I'm 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 caught up to episode 2 of season 3 i i mean okay. episode 2 of season 2 i have one more to watch and i like i couldn't get around cuz i had so much work to do today um but like also i'm kind of it's kind of nice cuz like after all of this when i'm done i've got two episodes to watch Instead right, of just right. one, and then have to wait a week. So, um, yeah. but so yeah. I, I kind of like the week to week thing as much as I like to binge things. People binge things faster than me. So if oh, if, I binge things real fast. Yeah, yeah. So if there's like a ten episode drop of something, and people watch that like literally ten hours later, they've seen it all. I've only gotten a chance to watch maybe one episode because you know I work, yeah. I sleep, and whatnot. And then they want to start having a conversation with me about the show. And I'm like, yeah, I love the show. It's great. And they're like, oh, yeah, didn't you love when the dog got run over? And I'm like, mm, hey, womp, what? Womp. what? <laughs> you know, so. Um, um, hey, so, no, so, the voice so here's the thing. Like, has everyone here watched it? Are we doing spoilers? No, 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 no. Let's not spoil it. Let's not do okay. any spoilers. We can talk about, like, what the show is. Everybody's so damn scared of spoilers. I know. I I'm know. not scared of spoilers, and I haven't seen a single episode. What's up? But the audience might be, yeah. It's no, but, fantastic. But I, okay, so I there's an audience. You. It's an Amazon show. No, I will. Okay, I, will, I definitely won't spoil, but I will tell you my highlights of it. Okay. Um, in, in a general way. Um, I like that the, you know, the I love the antagonists in the show. Um, even though you hate them. The, the but, right, right, right. <laughs> but I also really love the protagonists, and there are two of them. And I love the fact that it's a love story wrapped around two people. Um, and it's just so good. Like, I, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just where my heart is right now, but, like, I just... It's so sweet. It's so good, you know? And just... Um, 
I don't know. I don't the know. the music is good. Would... Like they, they have like one main song to enter and like kind of exit each episode, and they're all like like the like um, Psycho Killer, um, Pressure by Billy Joel, like yeah. some other songs that just nope. fit so nope. perfectly. And I don't know. I think it's I think it's well done. It's very entertaining. There's not a moment like I started thinking, OK, OK, I'll watch it like everyone loves it. It's got to be good. And all the people I respect love it. But I didn't, you know, know I would get into it, but I really got into it and I fell deep into it. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Amos, basically what it is, is if superheroes were real, what like, would they do? this is this they'd is what it would be like. They'd be they'd corporate, be corrupt sponsored. As fuck. Yeah, they'd like, be corporate sponsored. They'd be corrupt as hell. Uh, they'd be all about be the celebrity. Good. Yeah. So they, they would have they'd um, be endorsement deals, and uh, yeah, so that's that's the premise of the show. And then the boys, the boys is this group of, I mean, I guess we vigilantes. call them vigilantes. Yeah, they're yeah. they're basically vigilantes that are out to um, expose the, the superheroes corrupt. and yeah, and the corruption and whatnot. And things get a little messy. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. It's Very really, good. really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's it's definitely like sort of like a like a microscope into like government politics too, and like how uh, you know government works with like rogue like contractors and certain mm -hmm. things, and like it's so yeah, it's it's very relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yet absolutely. superhero. <laughs> There's yeah, yeah, superhero theme, but also. Uh, power corrupts is is a, a heavy theme, and then uh, yeah, what you said as well, Jackie, like uh, private contractors working for the government and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's very, it's so good. It's so funny and so smart and so violent and um, so well done. Like yes, it's, it's yes. So, don't so, don't watch so this good. with your children. Right. This is not a kids show. Well, oh, yeah. unless your child is twenty one, and then. Oh yeah, my still 20, I wouldn't watch it with my parents. I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't have and I don't have children. So. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just like going back and saying, like Jackie, you were like, I wouldn't say obsessed, but like really into like the individual like songs, and I'm, I'm a huge fan into the soundtrack makes the show or the soundtrack oh, yeah. makes the movie. Yeah, um, and In the I moment just say yeah. like after. I think it's been like five years now. Kent and I have officially finished the Unholy Trinity series. Oh, right. right. Meaning we have watched all of the Halloween movies. We've watched all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. And we've watched all the Friday the 13th movies. Yeah. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> I, I don't like... I. I went into it like being like, I don't like horror movies. I don't like them. I don't want to watch them. So no, they, no, 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 no. I'm kidding. But I'm also the weird person. I think it's who, great. I'm the weird person who obsesses over true crime. So, oh, oh girl, weird. girl, oh, friend, you need to you talk. Love it. <laughs> anyway, so we we finished off the unholy series, the unholy trinity, with the Rob Zombie Halloween movies, mm -hmm. and I, putting aside the fact that I just Halloween is probably my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to watch the Rob Zombie one because they're recasting all these characters, blah, blah. blah. But the music mm. made it such a better movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. You know, but for, for me, for rewatchability, like I'll take the 1978 Halloween. Oh, yeah. OG, and, OG, like, that, Jamie, that movie, Jamie Lee Curtis. All of those movies, that to me is a superior film. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then we then we started the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, series. now we have a new now we have a new franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, if you guys don't already have the streaming service Tubi, get, get it. it. It's one hundred percent free. It's ad supported. Um, if especially if you are a fan of horror movies, especially like classic horror movies, you have just found the fountain of fucking youth. Like, it is chock full of. Just incredible, and not just for horror movies. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's got the um, um, what is the um? Oh Words. my gosh, what the hell is it called? The the stupid book series that became a stupid movie series where a bunch of children run around killing each other in the, in some dystopian. Lord future. of the Flies. No, no, it's like <laughs> you got the regions of America, 
and they all have to Hunger sing a child. Yeah. Jesus. So yeah, all the Hunger Games movies are on there. <laughs> I fucking don't. I don't like the Hunger Games. I think it's stupid as fuck. But anyway, I really enjoyed the Hunger Games movies. I, I thought they were pretty I, good. I liked the books. I really like the books. The movies I can do without. But yeah. that's a lot. I, I didn't watch them all. I think I watched the first one, but I thought it was all right. I, I watched all the movies, didn't read the books, but then I'm also the guy that really enjoyed the Twilight books and the Twilight movies. So, you know. Yeah. Also on also on Tubi is the Scream movies, which I only bring that up because it ties into an announcement that was made today. There is Scream 5 coming out. And uh, that was actually made today with an amazing poster. And I fucking deleted it. Why did I delete it? Well, it's her. <laughs> um, who did I send it to? I sent it Me. to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the poster is the the uh, is the mask. The mask. The, the... Um, what what is what is he called? It's not scary guy. It's the the whatever the phantom mask or whatever. And the the poster just says, "Hello, Sydney. Remember me." And then it has a date on the Yeah, bottom. January 14th, 2022. Has cast been announced yet? No, that's literally the only announcement was the poster. Like the, the official account tweeted the, the poster that, and like, that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled, excited. I want to see it because I, I have seen all the screen movies. We have seen those. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh. Jack Quaid. Oh. Courtney Cox, Nev Campbell, David Arquette, Jenna Ortega, Marley sure. Shelton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just calling out the... There, David I, Cross? Is David as, Cross back in it? Because so I would go crazy. The, the thing about IMDb... So this movie is still in pre-production. Like, this is like announcement stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah this yeah, is all yeah. 100% to change. Long time coming. Um, um, it's, yeah. you, you said it's, it's coming out in January of 2021? Uh, 2022. 2022. Oh. Yeah. Shit, that's not even a real date then. Fuck it. Okay. Right. Exactly. Especially in, in Plague World. Who the hell knows? Who the heck knows? Hey, so um also I wanna I wanna circle back really quick to something you said, Tessie Ann, about uh being into true crime. Um I'm into true crime. I didn't know that I was into into <laughs> into true crime, but I started following my one of my favorite female comedians, Karen Kilgariff from Mr. <gasps> Show. <gasps> my favorite murder! <laughs> Oh my God! Are you uh, are you a murderino? I'm a murderino. Did I? Yeah. You're a murderino. <laughs> okay. Oh my okay, God. Okay, so so hang on, hang on. Yeah, I, I want to explain something really quick, and this is my point, and I'll do it really, really fast so we can move on. But the the thing is, is most it's mostly women that yeah. are into true crime. Like I don't, re I'm not really into it. But the thing is, and, and the point that the, that that particularly my favorite murder makes is that women are constantly in fear. They're constantly in fear of like walking to their car and making sure they get their key in or, or unlock their door and get in and like, you know, stay sexy and not get murdered. And stay like they're constantly in fear of that. And, and, and men, fear, men don't. Sexy, don't get so so, like, so women, women almost get into it because they're they're afraid of what's what what might happen. What and happen? if they hear enough stories, then they can protect themselves. And, and yeah. So, I mean, do you not agree, Sessian? I'll oh, toss it back. I, I absolutely agree. And it's always stay weird because, like, social norms is, oh, the woman has to be submissive and um, not stay appealing. Stay sexy and don't get married. It's it, it, uh, murdered. It's it's don't apologize. Don't apologize. Yeah, don't like, ever if apologize you for a ride, weird. you can say, no, I'm not unlocking my door. Screw you. I'm, yeah. I'm out here in this parking lot alone. Yep. You know? No, it is it is a huge thing, and yeah, I I have noticed. I agree that it's it's mostly women because yeah, Kent, I'll tell him true crime stories, and I'll be like, oh my god, did you know? Because I'll throw a psychological spin on it as well, because that yeah. was my major at some point in time. Yeah. Um, that it was like, hey, did you know that so and so such and such murder murder serial killer. Um, the FBI actually based their trinity of like, oh, this is what you call a sociopath or a psychopath. And they base it off of this guy. And yeah. These murders. And it's oh, like. Oh, girl, we have to talk he, after this, man. Yeah. I got some. He glazes over, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you get back to RMP. Sorry. <laughs> Did we just totally like, just took a. You might be seeing the birth of a new podcast right here, live on Ritual Misery. High five, girl. Um, 
the, the next thing I wanted to throw in here was just a real quick note. Amos, on our last episode, you brought up Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 and uh, how excited you were for us to play it. And then immediately you you ended up with it because you got it uh, as a download on PC and you've been streaming it. <laughs> like a dick. Well, my pre-order, <laughs> quote unquote pre-order, Came in today, finally, like just before showtime for PlayStation. It's because you pre-ordered uh, the disc. Yes, what? because because it's it's a anyway. We've got a bunch of games on the PlayStation, so it. Curtis the Rock. Anyways, check it out. Like this game. Okay, I'm gonna. Wow, we talked about it already. Tony Hawk's Pro Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is like the best fucking game. If you agree, you need to get it for PlayStation 4. That's all I'm going to say. I'm there, moving on. Is it I, on Xbox? It's in the, in the, yes. in the, the, the chat. It's, It'll on, be in all, the it's like, on all platforms. I'm sure it is. Uh, that was a Twitch dumb yet. question. Get on it. It is so much fun. I, I only played it for like 30. Well, I just wanted to like test it to make sure it works. <laughs> and um, yeah, Your I couldn't. Your kid played it longer than you did. <laughs> I, I, no, half of his play time was, was trading the controller with me. <laughs> um anyway anyway so good so good so good <clears throat> and it's gorgeous such a pretty game it yeah. does it i just talk about soundtracks it's got one of the greatest soundtracks of any movie game well tv the, show. The, oh really the greatest soundtrack of all time was tony hawk's pro skater 2 and it incorporates almost all of that soundtrack and yep. then adds all the stuff from tony hawk's pro skater 1 well not all of it mo most of it and then most adds another Twice yeah, that like size of twice cat, that. like yep. oh my gosh, there's so much. Good it music. is insane. Can I can I add something? Like it's not because I don't I haven't played Tony Hawk, but I like lately I have been p playing Forza, which is a car racing game. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yeah, so. Um, and that soundtrack is really good. I've been playing it with my ex because he's like, oh my god, Jackie, you're losing your mind. Like like let's just play some games together so you can chill yeah. out. And it's so it's so much fun, and it's it's a very British centric thing, and I love anything British, but the music is really good. And I thought about like streaming, playing it, you know, on Twitch. But and I thought, you know, about like the music you have to play in the background. And definitely Forza has some great music. Oh in it. right, so. right. Twitch in there. I um, well, I Twitch. thought about that and decided that Twitch. I just don't fucking care, and I played it anyway. <laughs> yeah, Twitch is is a lot. They better. won't let you play the music that's in the game. Yeah. Well, no, I was gonna say Twitch is a lot better about this, like because you can choose the game that you're streaming. Like it's. It's usually fine because right. it's basically advertisement for the game. But if you put it right. on YouTube, they flag it. YouTube is a problem. Oh, yeah. okay. And Twitch well, clips were a problem. It's been for a while, while since but I... like I said, I don't care. I just played it. Yeah. Um. But but you know what you know what what's not a problem is patreoncom slash <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> it is a problem because you're not charging anyone. That's 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 why it's not a problem. That's that? right. It's not a problem for our patrons uh, because once, once you become a patron, then you get access to all of our stuff all for stuffs. basically nothing. What what would those things be, Amos? Uh, how about pre-show and post-shows, unedited episodes, uh, ad-free episodes, by the way. All of the episodes on Patreon are ad-free. I mean... All the shows on the regular feed are ad free too, but you still get ad free <laughs> episodes on the Patreon Except feed. For the Patreon ad. Yeah. Well, you still get that either way, so fuck it. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, I don't know, like some old stuff, some stuff in the treasure box that uh, the people that have that have seen it have loved it and have uh, commented very heartily about how ridiculous it is. And you, you most importantly, you get the the post show, which we've recently started injecting little little games little easter eggs into yep. um so you know you get all that that's that's what you get plus you get the satisfaction of keeping amos's wife off his back about podcasting on this here show because <laughs> it's bringing in more money than than homework that's legit that's do legit. it do it do it be a patron do it <laughs> all right um amos there's a button over there that you're supposed to be pushing right about now 
What time is it? Kim's all powerful. He's extraordinary. A genius. Game. I cannot contain myself. Kim's game. Presented oh, by Stephen so Cogswell. <laughs> All right, Jackie and no. Amos. My game this week I named Stop Your Motion, Rudolph. Any anybody want to take a guess what it might be about? Gumby. <laughs> uh a dude that Well, see, I see you're 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 not how what's your rating on your show? He's just, pandering. Just say it. He's not being clever. <laughs> Like clever in the simplest of terms. <laughs> um, so the the stop motion. The, you know when you see a nose down there and it's like getting red, just go, <laughs> just go ahead and take a just. That's stop. right. Exactly. Exactly. So of course this quiz is about the 1964 classic Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, one of the the uh, classic <laughs> stop motion or claymation uh, um, animated things. Um, I know that Jackie, that you're into claymation, and we're going to talk mm-hmm. a little bit about that after after this game. Uh, but I wanted to kind of seg into talking about claymation by revisiting one of the classics of claymation. Aww. It was between yeah. this and Wallace and Gromit, and I was able to find better <laughs> questions based on uh, Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. So. I will say the Wallace and Gromit scared me less as a child than the claymation <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Yes, right. Yeah, no, That's I was definitely funny. okay. I'll I'll save it for later. But yeah, <laughs> uh, it, it, total inspirations, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So Jackie, I always give our guest the option to go first or to go second. Oh, second, because I'm scared. Yeah, because okay. right. my head is not in a good space. All right, so Amos, we're going to start with you. Damn. First first question. And you guys will be happy to hear that these are all multiple choice. So I'm not going to leave you guys scratching your heads. If you just don't know, you can just pick one of them. All right, so Amos, first one. Which character narrates Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Santa. Was it Santa? Santa. You're going with Santa. I don't know. What, what are the options? Like, kick, kick him out of here. Let's go. Okay. Sam the Snowman, Hermie the Elf, Yukon Cornelius, or Santa Claus? Hermie the Elf. <laughs> I was about to say, can I, can I do the... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You are the sound effects. Okay. So, uh, uh, no, it is it is Sam the Snowman. Can, can I tell you? Can I tell you? Is, Do I get to answer? Does it get passed to me, or is it? Oh, just I already. I, I just gave the answer out loud. Um, we're, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go through them one at a time. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, Jackie's okay, trying so to get bonus you points. You did not get it. Sam the Snowman is the answer. Jackie, your first question: What does Santa say when he first sees Rudolph's glowing nose? Your choices are gonorrhea. <laughs> Your choices are great blinking snowstorm or B great Kringle's ghost C great galloping glaciers or D great bouncing icebergs. Oof. Can I, can I hear, can I hear the, the responses again? Yes, uh, here we go. I'm going to do them in rapid succession here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Great Blinking Snowstorm. Great Kringle's Ghost. Great Galloping Glaciers. Great Bouncing Icebergs. I w- uh, God, that's just so much harder. I would say A, but I wouldn't say C, but I'm going to say A. <laughs> You're going to say A. Great uh, Blinking Snowstorm. Uh, yeah, um, no, unfortunately, that is not correct. It was actually D, Great Bouncing Icebergs. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's I would have got man. that. Yeah, that one was hard. That's, that's probably hard. the hardest. That's probably the hardest one in there. Jesus, I got to go fill, my, fill up my cocktail again. Like, I, you guys just go on with this game without me. Uh, <laughs> I, I would have I got that. I was, yeah. You would not have. I, I always you didn't even know the snowman Chris, Chris, was the narrator. Man. I thought yeah, the snowman you know so well. snowman narrated. I thought about, I, I thought about I, and all that stop motion. They're like, come on. You, you guys are assuming that I knew the answer. That's not what I said. I said I would have got it right because I always pick the D when I don't know. 
Oh, that makes sense. That makes <laughs> sense. Uh, all right. Amos, your next question. <laughs> Why does Rudolph's friend Hermie run away from the San- from Santa's workshop? This is probably the easiest question in the whole thing. Why does Rudolph's friend Hermie run away from Santa's workshop? He wants to be a dentist. Sounds good. He <laughs> broke Santa's sleigh. Uh huh. He doesn't believe in Christmas. Right. Or he doesn't like the cold. Uh, I'm gonna say he broke Santa's sleigh. Although the dentist thing, like, has some bite. <laughs> so which one are you phone. going with? B. Uh, B. He broke Santa's sleigh. Yep. Uh, uh... Jackie, I'm gonna give you a bonus question or a bonus point here to to tell Amos what the correct answer is. Uh, A. Yes. Dent- he wants to be. Hermie wants to be a dentist. Amos, I gotta ask you right now. Have you seen Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? <laughs> you haven't seen as much as I have, obviously. <laughs> and no. this is pissing me off. <laughs> I know. Like he's got children, even. Like I don't. You're setting understand. up your guess. I see how you play these games. I see how you play these reindeer <laughs> games. <laughs> like Monopoly. Anyway. All right, Jackie, your your next question. My impossible question? Go ahead. <laughs> Damn, I just realizing this actually is one of the harder ones. Oh, well, so, I'll I'll hum it to her if she does. No, 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 it's All fine. Right. It's fine. Ju- it's ju- fair. Just so we're clear. Just so we're no, clear. Uh, anytime Kent does a quiz, he expects it's the guest. It's designed for. No, no, he expects the guest to go first and there's always the odd number of questions are oh. always easier than the even number of questions. <laughs> Well, it's, like I said, man, I've been going through some crap this week, man. You don't even know. What <laughs> song does Clarice sing to Rudolph? Ooh. So the, the choices are A Holly Jolly Christmas, We're a Couple of Misfits, Jingle, 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 There's Always Tomorrow. <sighs> I'm going to go with Misfits. No, 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 no. Do you know that? Like, I can't tell what you're humming because now I don't even remember the question, the answers, <laughs> or the, the yeah. choices. All right. So, um, so once again, the choices are, and this is what Clarice, the, I mean, the I already answered. So, I, it's I didn't get it. Holly right. Jolly Christmas. Oh, yeah. Okay. Holly Jolly. No, I mean, I know that, like, like I would, I thought that that was, that was the so, obvious choice. We're but... a couple of misfits. Yeah, I love to be on this. Yeah, no, okay, but I already answered this. So I screwed it up. It's Holly Jolly. I get it. Hear the sleigh bells ring, and then there's always. Well, to now, now you're just confusing me. Now I just don't even fucking know anymore. Like it's fine. I, okay, I'm blown away. I had no idea that she has seen this movie seven thousand times enough to know the songs. Yeah, I just would have had her present the questions. Like, like I don't know, I don't know the name of the character is the problem. So, I just okay, assumed so the, that it would go with you would go go with misfits. But yeah, Holly Jolly, like the the uh, the. Actual, I thought Holly Jolly was more of a, like a a huge like group interaction. Well, Holly you know? Jolly Christmas is what the elves all sing. Um, we're a couple of misfits is what the toys sing. Jingle, jingle, jangle. No, that's you true. Bones no, but I didn't know who, who this woman is. Like, I didn't know her little, character. Little baby reindeer Clarice, who's Rudolph's <laughs> girlfriend, sings There's Always Tomorrow. Damn, girl, you know it so much better than me. I'm going thought... to unplug my mic right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I, I, like I, I'll, I'll, I mean, I, I would say Holly Jolly, but like, um, but, but I, I went with Misfits, and like, I don't want to, I don't want to cheat, so, like, yeah. I didn't get it. Yeah. Curtis yeah, Larock so says he knows nothing though. about this movie, and I'm gonna say that I know slightly more than that. I know enough to be terrified oh. of this movie because well, it's I a, hated it's a really, it's a. It's a really beautiful stop animation movie that came out in like the early eighties, maybe. Um seventies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sixty four. Sorry. Sixty four. It was early sixties. Yeah. Bro, the sixties. Hey, where is Wabbit Magic? And I haven't seen him. He's probably hiding from <laughs> He was the in his twenties, I think, when that came out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't maybe his thirties. Oh, it's not on fire, man. He's in danger. 
Yeah, anyways, I, okay, so yeah, I'm all right, fine. So I got it wrong. I got it yeah, wrong. So there's always tomorrow was the correct answer. Okay, Amos, oh. over to you. How does Donner hide Rudolph's red nose? Was it with charcoal, spray paint, duct tape, or mud? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Amos? Charcoal. You say charcoal, you would be... It is with mud. Although I would say it kind of looks like charcoal, so like yeah, I would have, I would absolutely have guessed charcoal yeah. on that one, but uh, it was definitely mud. Um, Jackie, over to you. What is the abominable snowman's real name? Jim. <laughs> is it Jumble, Bumble, Gumble, or Rumble? Should I go get him? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. Rumble? Yeah, so this, this was, yeah, man, I did end up giving you the harder one. Um, Bumble is his. Bumble, that would have made sense. Yeah, Bumble, the next right. little abominable snowman. And, uh, so I guess can I, I can I Can I please take a break to get a cocktail after this? She just brought over her little, like, bobblehead It's my bobblehead thing. Bumble! Yeah. Would that be a bumblehead? A it... bumblehead. That's right. God damn, that is a bumblehead. <laughs> All right, Amos, uh, over to you. Yukon Cornelius is prospecting for what? Silver? No. Peppermint? Mm -mm. Gold? Mm -mm. Or tinsel? Tinsel. Tinsel. His answer would be. I need to check. I need to fact check. Not give you. him any hints. <laughs> it's. I have to fact check him. Okay. Well, I know that it's um, you were incorrect. It's peppermint. <laughs> peppermint. Well, no. Why I'm, he always licked his pick I'm I'm it's fact so checking funny. you because he sang a whole song about silver and gold. That's right. Yeah. By all means, after this game is over, fact no. check me. <laughs> I will award a thousand <laughs> points to our participants if I'm wrong. All right, Jackie, over to you. Who sings? We're a couple of misfits. It's Rudolph and somebody. So who does Rudolph sing We're a couple of misfits with? Was it Hermie, Bumble, Fireball, or Charlie in the Box? Charlie in the Box. I'm guessing. I don't know their names. I'll, you know. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Was, Although so I would say Hermie. Was no, it Hermie, Rudolph? Hermie was B. Because Hermie was a toy, right? No, well, no, he made toys. No, he was an elf. Yeah. You said Hermie? Yeah, I guess I'm saying Hermie. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, my God, I got one right because you egged me on to get the right answer. <laughs> well, I was going to stop him and say, because you can't remember the character's name. We're going to say, was it Rudolph? No, I don't, I don't know the names. You know, Rudolph like, and a I'm toy? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but I, I do remember that Hermie, I think, I thought I remembered that Hermie was the, was the, um, that was was the elf main elf character. Yeah, he's the one who wanted to be yeah. the dentist. Yep. Yep. All right, Amos, your last question. This is humiliating. <laughs> Amos, your last question. What actor provided the voice for Rudolph? Oh. Was it Paul Souls, Burl Ives, Alfie Scop, or Billy May Richards? Alfie. You're going with Alfie? Alfie Wagatoma Jafia Gumavak. Uh, while I while I enjoyed hearing you say that name, um, it was actually Billy Mae Richards. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that a woman played the voice of Rudolph. I like how you spelled her name two different ways. Did I? Oh. Yeah, you did. You spelled yeah. May. Yep. So in the actual... Nobody sees this but me. Well, I'm seeing it. Well... <laughs> I have a problem with it. It's M-A-E. Billy M-A-E. Billy May. All right, Jackie, your final question. What is wrong with Dolly for Sue on the Island of Misfit Toys? So this was a, a doll that they found on, on the island. Yeah, yeah. It had the, the little like gift tag that says Dolly for Sue. Um, what was wrong with her? Uh, your choices are she has low self-esteem, she's bald, she has an extra thumb, or she's missing a button. I mean, all those would give her so low self-esteem. <laughs> it's either it's a, either A or D. 
I'm going to go with button. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I don't know. I should know. Because, like, in my mind, I feel like it's a button because it, that would stop motion. Wait, 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 wait. What was A again? Uh, she has low self-esteem. Oh, no, no, no. Low self-esteem. I'll go with that. Ding, 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 ding. Yay. <laughs> uh, Amos got zero on this quiz. And, Jackie, you got... You got three out of five correct. No, I did not. He got yes, one he or did. two. Yeah. You got three you got three points. No, I did not. You gave them to me. That you gave me all of those answers except the last one. <laughs> well, either way, you beat the shit out of Amos. Oh got my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our game. Stop your motion, Rudolph. Well, thank you. Thank you for setting up a game that I should have won, and I'm embarrassed. You, you know? did Well, you win. did win, so it's all good. <laughs> it's fine. Just because I can sing all the songs and Kent suddenly realizes that there's an actual abominable snowman in our bar. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, th thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was a very, very sweet game. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm, it, I'm honored that you would create a stop motion game, but it, it does put me to shame a little bit because the, well, because uh, because that mo that 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 film is definitely a huge um, inspiration to me. So right, so so tell us about that. So I, I decided to make this game uh, because I know that you have an interest in stop motion. So uh, tell us a little bit about not only your interest but involvement with. Stop motion. I mean, do you want to do you want to see my current set that I? Uh, I would love to actually. Well, I, I I've I've shown this off to a lot of people. <laughs> Shit, hang on. Uh, I, I oh I thought I had this handy, but it's not really handy. Oh no 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 no. Oh no, I'm gonna ruin it. Um. So yeah, I. Um. Uh, my my current project. Let me make sure my Nancy uh, flag isn't showing. Yeah, for the longest time I've been working on this thing and I've written a lot of scripts and I've talked to people and I was trying to get people to do voices. But I'm doing this um, Oval Office thing here, you know, that I, I've shown off on the internet now for a while. I had to have it shipped to me uh, from my home and sunny burbank california <laughs> <laughs> and um so i'm doing this i'm going to do this series of like well i mean there's a couple projects i was working on i was working on a story where i have this cat superhero and it was based off of my cat who was dying and um i didn't finish that but i, I have a lot of content i just have to edit it and i um it's really hard i don't know if you know how hard stop motion is but it's, it's particularly hard if you're a one woman show. Oh, and, yeah. And I've said that endless, endless times. But um, so what I thought I would do is bring some levity into this election time and do a kind of like either a Mr. Trump or Mr. Biden, like depending mm -hmm. on your pick, um, mm -hmm. like a, a parody of um, so working in different clay it'd be 100 percent play-doh and it's do you remember mr bill um from saying oh, hey, mr bill oh no hey mr bill it's mr hand and you're gonna go out into the sidewalk and get it's run over saturday saturday yeah. night live bit yeah, yeah yeah so it'd be it'd be a play on both of the presidential candidates and i was honestly kind of waiting to see who the new like democratic candidate would be um, and we've had him for a while, but it's taken me a while to like get around to this because my life has totally been distracted in the last right. month. So well, yeah, you said you're a one woman show where, yeah. uh, as an example, Wallace and Gromit would have 30 animators right. at a time. Oh, hell, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so for me, it's, um, it's 100% sent therapy, which is what I was going to say about my hair dyeing thing, um, is, um, that I like. You know, when you start crafting things, when you start, like, particularly if you start crafting miniature sets and you're, and, and you're, and if you're able to work in clay, it is very, very therapeutic. It, it kind of takes you away from all the bull crap that we're all 
is all being forced down our throats right now with mm -hmm. the like the 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 the, the total split in the tribalism that's going on right now in our society between like the left and right um when most of us all tend to agree on the same issues right you know right. we want covid to end we want to get back to work we want you know our children to be able to go to school we there there, there are things we want like we want the environment to be better. We don't want to destroy the world. Like these are all things that I think across the board, everybody agrees on, but there's this tribalism. So I wanted to take the attempt to, so I, that's why I stopped the previous project I worked on, which is a cat superhero. I mean, that's very, I felt like that was a very selfish project, but now I'm focusing on, and right now really what I've been doing is working on scripts and I have like asked people to uh, do voices for me. And there were a few people that responded that I thought could do a few voices and like, but you can't, you can't ask people to do stuff for you for free and expect them to follow through. So, you know, um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, yeah, totally into claymation. So thank you for bringing that up. But um, I don't know, I guess, I guess you've kind of put me in the spotlight here. And so I'm a little inspired to like finally get to it because election day is coming. No, Jack, <laughs> yeah. Jackie, you, you, you said you have some footage that you need edited, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 No, that's really hard for me. And and um, I don't, and particularly where I'm quarantined, I don't have the, the expensive software that I had, which is dragon frame. Um, so it's really, really hard for me to try to work with that right now. So I, you know. I, I know there are some some people that uh, may I'll may be able to do some collaborate. editing for video. I would love any any collaborators. If anybody wants to reach out to me and get you know full credit and let, let's roll, let's rock, let's make this thing happen. I would love to. Yeah. Um, anything to get me out of my bed. I've been in bed like for the the last four days um, well, I, I i can tell you that as far as video editing i'm not the fastest but i'd be willing to put some on that but as audio editing i'm pretty good so if we need to do some levels and some splices and some piecing together i need voices i need i need male voices and you know uh, uh, yeah I, I i think i mentioned before i'm i'm willing to to read a part i mean i could probably do a kamala harris but like i can't do you know a a, a pence or a you know and and it's just like a play on both of them, so it's it it, it won't be all, because I I thought I was going to call it Mr. Trump like Mr. Bill, but like honestly, there's so much to make fun of both of them. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. I mean, the best case scenario is that Biden gets elected and resigns within a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! And, and my my uh, my echo timer is going off, so that my lights are blinking. And then it would be it would be Ms. Harris at that point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm I'm totally down with that. Yep, yep, yep. So um, of course I'm there you I, go. I'm so I'm gonna just say this real quick. The election happens on November third. November fourth comes along. We don't have a president yet. No, we won't. Probably not. Yeah. No, we nope. start getting into December. Still don't have a president. Now the. Delegates have been have been selected okay. for the most part. That, wait, but that, oh, wait, 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 hold 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 up. What, what, December we don't have a president. What 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 now? You it, you skipped a step. I think no 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 because we didn't have a we didn't have a president in two thousand until uh, December nineteenth. Right. So it fights it fights or president elect I should say just to clarify. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, we'll be lucky if we have one on inauguration day. Trump fights it for whatever reason. He's just as liable to fight it if he wins than if he loses, in my opinion. But uh, that, that's me. Um, and we don't have a a, a an accepted uh, elected president or president elect. Right. January twentieth runs rolls around. Everyone on the right that I see in my feed that I still see in my like my Facebook feed that haven't been fucking shadow banned by me. Um, <laughs> Is saying that Nancy Pelosi will become the president because if there is Pre no president pro tempo, yeah, mm -hmm. if there if there is no president elected by the uh, inauguration yeah. day, the president or the, the speaker of the house steps in to fill temporarily until a president can be decided. First of yep. all, 
It won't be she's Nancy. Next in line. It, it won't be Nancy Pelosi because she's already stated, and part of her selection as Speaker of the House was that she would only serve as Speaker of the House for one term. So that would put a the new Congress that will be elected this election cycle will have to select a new Speaker of the House. Now they may reselect her, but that'd be kind of counterintuitive, especially with the uh, AOC and all that bunch totally against it. But whoever that Speaker is would be the President pro tempore. Or whatever for for the for the time for the interim, yeah. It wouldn't be Nancy Pelosi. Hmm. Okay. I'm I'm just putting that out there because I see a lot of no no no. I hadn't, of, I hadn't realized that I a didn't lot of that. fud out there. It basically, the new Congress, the 154th billion the Congress House of or whatever, yeah, would have They're to pr- select a new the a, House a, Speaker. Yeah, a new Speaker of the House, and that person would become the the temporary president. So who do you think would be the next House Speaker? Oh, that's so fucking in the air right now. That's a hard question to answer. It, it really depends on, on if the Democrats maintain their majority, which is highly likely. There's there's very yeah. few scenarios where they lose majority in the House. And then who would they choose amongst the creme de la creme of the Democrats in the House? And I think... People like the front runners like Adam Schiff would be too controversial because of the impeachment. I mean, basically anybody on the impeachment uh, on the side of the House in the impeachment would kind of be out of it because it'd be too controversial. And you wouldn't be able to garner any kind of uh, a two sides thing going on. Um, and absent those, you really don't have many superstars on the Democrat side in the House. And I know, well, we just, and I know, I mean, we just got politics that, that are middle of the road, you know. Well, I mean, because okay. so uh, well, you don't have a, any. You don't have a, any. For, is definitely for an episode a that's already running long, I don't think this is um, okay. What All right, yeah, audience yeah, yeah. is looking for. No, no, no. Uh, I, I'm going to answer Jackie really quickly. Uh, no one, no superstars on the Democratic side have tenure. Right, right, right. So exactly. Be, exactly. That, that's too new. very, very, very important. So, right. so that 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 whole thing is just completely in the air, and I yep. find that just as interesting as this election. There are plenty so, of them in the Senate, but they're I, not. I, wanna, the... I, wanna, I do want to interject one thing. These these are the types of this is exactly the type of conversation that we occasionally get into in the RMP post show. Oh, okay. You're not already a member of our Discord. You need to go to bit.ly slash RMP Discord. I know there's a bunch of people in our voice chat at this very moment. Um, hey, guys, I see you there. Um, but, yeah, join that. Go there. It's free. And we are there every week in our post show, and we hang out after the fact, and we talk about anything. We talk about topics that, that came from the show. We talk about politics sometimes. We talk about computer computer stuff, all kinds of nerdy topics. Uh, whatever you guys want to talk about, just uh, – just join R M or bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Yeah. Are we I wrapping this up? Is that all that's going on? <laughs> is the party over? Is the yeah, cocktail up? Sure. Is my beverage? Slope. I've been waiting Let's to say, fill this beverage the... back up. <laughs> yeah. So we, we started the, the episode with a pre show cocktail hour. And uh, the cocktails were quite good. <laughs> and then I, I think um, I think it, it it allowed us or gave us license well, in our a very little bit. extend um, our, uh, our 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 conversation for, for uh, quite a bit. Which do not get me wrong, this has been a most enjoyable uh, episode so far. Uh, so by all means, <laughs> let's 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 keep it. Jackie, going. where can people find you? Um, you can find me, uh, yeah, if you want to reach me, like, uh, you, like if you're not in the discord, you can get me on the discord, but, uh, ja- at Jackie Hearn 81 on Twitter is the kind of the gr- best way, um, to get a hold of me. Um, but, uh, or, you know, check out my YouTube because I was showing off all this like stop motion stuff that one day I'm going to make reality. One day I'm going to get out of my COVID madness and make real, mm-hmm. but you know, nobody is creative right now. Creativity is really hard. Um, so you can do that by following me at youtube.com slash Jackie Hearn, or if you like, you can catch me. I'm going to fill in as a uh, step-in co-host for the Geek Grills uh, for the uh, month of October. And uh, that so I guess is start... super exciting to me. Yay. I think that is yeah, fantastic. you're going to be a grill for October. That's great. For, for October, I'll be grilling. 
That's that that's is awesome. That is awesome. That's that's another fun show. If like if you if you haven't checked out Geek Grills, just cruise on mm-hmm. by there, man. You you are bound to laugh at either one of the topics, one of the hosts, or the guest. Guaranteed, you're going to laugh during that uh, that 45 oh, minutes yeah. to an hour and they're, 15. They're they're fantastic. It's a, it's a wonderful show, and I I cannot. Wait and to hear if you have yeah. a chance to party with them at Nerdtacular 2021, <laughs> which is rumored to be in the works fucking do it i'm telling you <laughs> i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there like you know because you guys know i've missed out on all of the meetups like for the last like four years or so I, and uh, i'm not i'm like I, once the once i get that vaccine in my arm man i am there i'm uh, there's there a for test everything 2021 it is gonna be <laughs> fucking unbelievable there know, right the third is gonna have to be 100 percent reserved by the attendees of, of the conference there it's will be- there will not i'm t- i'm putting my foot down right now kent there will not be another nerd tacular without us there mm. i i i think nor, nor myself that that is uh because that yeah. was of all the south all- buys and everything else man nerdtacular was just it, it tops on all of them. It was fucking yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I'm jealous. All right, yeah. shut up. A lot of South by, like, we just had to, like, find our own thing to do or whatever. Nerd Tactic was there for us. There, there was like, too it, much everything. to do at any given time. It was fucking yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kent, where can people find you, man? Yeah, RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. Uh, check me out there. That's that's really all I'm promoting this week. What about you, dude? Uh, Ethan Kane on Twitter, dude. It, that's, that's where it's at. I'm... A very vocal. Dude. If you think I hold back on this show, don't don't be afraid to cruise on by my Twitter because I do not fucking hold back there. That's right. Um, and of course, you can find the show on Twitter at Ritual Misery, R I T U A L M I S E or Y. And uh, we already talked about the Discord, Discord bit uh, uh, bit dot l y slash r m p Discord. Yep. You can find all these links and more ways to support the show and give us feedback at our website, RitualMisery.com. We we are live, and now that the summer's over, we are live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific-ish uh, on DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.tv slash Ritual Misery. And we would like to send a great big thank you to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use his music. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you for listening. For Amos, for me, for you, and for Jackie, this has been Ritual Hell yeah. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> R-I-T-U-A-L-M-I-S-E-L-Y. All right, Jackie, you Ooh. forgot something. Say it quick. Oh, I forgot to plug uh, All Eyes Are on You podcast. Sorry, Debbie's got us one. <gasps> oh, 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 give us it. Give us it. What? what tell I us just what... said it. It's I did, All Eyes Are on You podcast. That one. Are all eyes on what is you it? All Eyes it's on a, You. It's a podcast. It's just a podcast I do with Debbie's got us one. Go check it out. Link in the show notes. Okay, I will. Okay, I'm sorry, man. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely, check it out. It was a, it was a, it was a subconscious screw up.